It's horrible. Like glaciers made out of, I don't know, despair. D don't get it on you, buddy. This must be it. The tower. What's inside there, Dicey? Oh. I can just feel it. She has to be. We've come so far, haven't we? But I still don't know for sure what we need to do. Chest, How did she get here? No, I don't want to ask that question. Everywhere. Cards on the table. This is a bit outside my normal rounds, and not at all what I was expecting. But now you're here, and Maddie Dex is playing the sympathy card. You gotta buy something, mate. Please! Oh, Maddie doesn't try to understand the world. All I understand is cards. And I understand now that perhaps you're looking to trade. You never know who's listening, mate. Okay. Now, let's trade and forget all about any trees of the thoughts, eh? Okay. You know, I never realized you had four legs. Wait a minute. Never mind. Sorry, but I have three bombs now. Do I want to drop down? Yeah, sure. Bring him out. Um. Alright, I don't know what that does. Let's not find out. Oh, it re- oh, okay. I gotta kill him out the zone. Great. That's what I want. time. Oh. He did. Ah, oh, crap. Can I get rid of this thing or it's just going to be pointless? I died. This is gonna be annoying. This is really gonna be annoying.
Oh, thank goodness, he killed both of them. I see. have to hurt me. Okay. Let's see how this works. Uh, put you right there. All right. Storebook. Wait. How do we get it? other side. anything. What do you mean I can't place them? God damn. you to god damn it i can't i can't even put this on the bridge okay you just stay there Thank you. 
Give me an actual weapon, please. Got everybody, where's the gunslinger? There he is. All right. Anybody else? Another one? Well, at least you're the only one left. That's right, get up, come on. Where am I going? Oh, this is to the ghost, okay. So I need to go back for the storybook. Oh, here we go. Pretty easy. A new queen rose to power and, knowing what the games had become, took action. In a voice tinged with rage, she decreed that all dice be forever destroyed. Using the power of her dark, six-sided companion, called the One True Dice, she attacked any of her citizens foolish enough to protest. And thus began the No Dice War. All right. Okay. Oh, go, I have to go down. Oh, dice war. Are we almost there? I don't want to bite anybody. Especially with uh, regeneration. Well, this ain't safe. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't. I can take them. It's the sudden stop at the end that I'm worried about, Dicey. Why am I gonna meet Manny one more time before the final battle? He's gonna take more money out of me. I feel it too, Dicey. You get close to it, and it's like every bone in your body is warning you to keep away. Well, the ghost it one. smells like that's exactly it death the goo almost was like it's living or used to be alive okay well, the ghosts don't feel any fear once you get me oh it's sextopia okay uh here we go <gasps> Oh, I've got a card up my sleeve, in my chest, up. Those up me, well, everywhere. Let's trade. Where am I going? Yeah, I don't feel like doing that. Please. Alright, just don't fall. Don't be an idiot. Camera, please don't be an idiot.
Did I miss three, or is there going to be three more? The queen proved an effective general, and the war soon turned in her favor. Any remaining dice wielders who would not give up their companions were forced into exile, or worse. The Valley of the Dice hid itself from the queen in fog, with its inhabitants and their power all but forgotten. Only the queen's dark dice remained, all alone and all powerful. Can I just avoid the arena, please? Pretty please? I don't want to do it. Oh. That was a big circle. God damn it. Doesn't look like any of them are doing any regening. I think that's good then. But that's not. Really? Oh, I can break them. Lovely. I think you're running. Stay away from me. I don't want to blow myself up. They should have just made this really annoying then. I mean, we're near the end of the game. You should make some of these fights annoying. This would have been super annoying, but it's like the last level. Oh. Am I just gonna find... Let me check them out. Three, so I'm gonna miss be missing two. Ain't no way I'm getting that. Unless it's this way. Seymour, is that you? Oh no, Seymour. I'm coming, buddy. Seymour. Seymour. <laughs> is he? <laughs> You're alive. Oh, is that you, even? I was just dressing my eyes. <laughs> Seymour, your eyes. They didn't even make it about a number. They just took all three. Damn. I'm gonna get you out of here. <coughs> no, even you can't. There's too many. You'll never be able to. <laughs> what are you then? Run! I got this. I can take them. I've done bigger bosses. <laughs> 
Oh, uh, and this is what I'm talking about. Make an annoying stone with annoying ammo. Oh god, this is gonna be annoying. The healing's fine. The shield for them is annoying. Well, don't worry, I'm about to kill him with this six. Fast, come on. Oh, hell, you ain't, Seymour. If I gotta hurt myself. Yeah, heal him up. I got enough ammo. I'm about to make something explosive. I'm about I was about to say watch. <laughs> but he's currently blind. That demon come well that blew up see more more. <laughs> I see. What are you doing? We're trying to save Seymour here. Why are you giving me ones? You're even tougher than I knew, even. Uh, Nanny Fortuna happened to me, I'm afraid. She caught me in Forberg. Captured me, tried to get me to talk about you, but I didn't tell them anything even. Told them my name was Seymour, not talk more. <laughs> that's when, that's when she started taking my eyes. But what about you even? I, I thought you were going home. W what made you change your mind? Realized what? Oh no, shoot. You've got a good Damn it, heart, I chose either. the wrong option. The queen. She's more powerful than you think. And from what I've overheard, your sister has changed. She won't be what you expect. Oh, I'm sorry, even about all of this. We adults messed up the world, and somehow it's been left to you to fix. A child sent to face off against the most twisted and dangerous being and random, and it's, it's not right. I'm sorry I can't stop you, even. And I'm sorry I can't help. There is. Whatever's happened to your sister, I, I don't think it's gone all the way yet. Just be careful. There's nothing I can do to help you now, especially 
given my uh, current condition. Yeah, I got a magic eyeball for you. Oh, 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 thank you. Now, all we have to do is survive Nanny and the Queen and her minions, and we'll fix everything. Let's go. Hey, whoa. Seymour, you're, you're in no condition to fight. You need to rest. Hey, I can't let you do it alone. I'm not alone. Seymour, when this is all over, there will always be a place for you in one town. I'd, uh, I'd like that, even. All right. Save Seymour. Oh, what? I'm supposed to find the someone here. hell? I, I don't know, Dicey. But I know they're here somewhere. Freedom rules. Red Pond. I did what I did for the rebellion. I regret none of it. The glorious rebellion of Four Town against the Queen in the No Dice War, of course. True, I was captured, but you cannot kill an idea. Okay. Warburg will be victorious. Villainy can never triumph. My beloved motherland, tell me how fares Four Town? Do the valiant and true still call it home? Um, Do the birds sing songs of its glory? What news have you? Tell me what became of Four Town. No, it's not possible. I, I don't. I can't. Forberg? And what of her people? Ah, you see, the city may be gone, but the spirit is thriving, just as I may be rotting here in jail, but the rebellion lives on. Even though my city may no longer stand, its ideals always will. Huzzah! Huzzah, I say! Freedom rules. It's like a gambling town now, so... Good luck with that. Oh, she was almost there. The narrator. Oh, Most the there. The spirit of the rebellion. Never. As day. This isn't what happens next, you know. You are in the presence of the narrator of the queen herself. Oh, okay. Show some respect, child. The queen desires control. More than that, she desires not to be controlled. She reached a point where she thought I was controlling her. You're smarter than you look, child. Yes, that is true. But I could not convince her of that fact. Stories take us places. All of us. Even narrators. And my place, it would seem, is in prison. I can narrate only myself. I could narrate volumes to you, child. Ugh. But, like I said, that is not what happens next. Suffice it to say that when she was younger, the queen, then just a princess, she was happy. We were happy. There was such promise in her. A spark ineffable. Tragedy. Something unexpected. She tried to stop it, but it is a tale long forgotten and best left that way. I mean, really can't fault you. He's a narrator, so. Oh, I haven't helped you at all, child. All I've done is narrate some backstory. Thanks. Your fate is out of my hands. From what I can see, I'm relieved it's so. I don't need your failure on my conscience. Damn. As days bled into months, 
And then into years, no one could say what would happen now, least of all me. You'll never break the spirit of the rebellion. Never. Right, that's the ball. There's the boy, eh? More participating. There's the boy. Even's narrator was so this close. This was not what she was just had to keep to looking. Okay. Some part of Even knew her narrator was close. Thanks. It was a feeling that went beyond words. Give me a second. One thing was certain. The queen? Her story oh, had taken a very oh, dark oh, turn. I did something wrong, or whatever it was, and so I needed to be punished. She is good, and if I tell her that enough, one day she will let me out. They are not available. She's good. Hey, boy, what's the boy? Hey, talk to me. Boy, boy, thank you. It's too good. All this for a little super juice. To see Pete. Oh well, very eagerly. I was minding my business, and then Nanny Fortuna came, and I accidentally spilled some super juice on her. That's it. Right? And then she arrested me and brought me to the Queen. And then I maybe spilled some juice on her. I, I, I was thirsty. And then I tried to clean it up and kind of maybe spill some more juice on her black dice. Oh my ran God. down her dress. That was too long. What are you doing, mate? It's extra right there. Mm, pockets, mostly. Cheeks, too. Built in the hidden reservoirs in the top, too. Got my rung out of my hair. I'm a juicy boy. I'm not going to apologize for that. Okay. Anyway, that's my story. Remember me? My only regret is that I ceaselessly spilled so much super juice on authoritarian state figures. Okay. I remember that. Alright, it's just no, that's not the way. Where's my narrator? Even and her narrator were almost reunited. She was so close. She was so dramatically close. And give me a second, I gotta talk with him. Hello, Even. Do you remember me? For I remember you. You know, I could just leave. Now, now, Even. We both know that's not true. You're probably wondering why I'm here and not out there. What you would be shaking my teeth with the bones of the disobedience. I suppose it makes no difference to tell you. The Queen hired me all those years ago to kill that meddlesome king of freedom and to start their war. What can I say? Our interests align. Yeah, and it still makes no sense. The Queen wanted to ensure his children would tear each other apart in the years and decades to come. And they did. I gave the Queen her endless war. I did brilliant work. Eh. Oh, but like she a five out of ten. even me, you see. She promised me the people would fear the Shadow Man beyond reason, but they didn't. My rule was kept secret, and instead, they grew to fear war, their own deaths. That sounds like a you when problem. I finally had enough, when I finally threatened to reveal the truth to everyone. Well, here I am. Oh, no, I wasn't done. Hello, even. Do you now your pr I suppose it makes no difference. The queen 
Come on, it's gonna be a fast Gee, button. When I finally had enough. No, no, you don't get to pity me. I'm terrified. No, I you're get to. You're terrified of me. Say it. Say you're terrified. You don't pity me. In fact, no, I pity you. You hear me? I pity you. I pity you. Hey, you're liking the cage. Nobody pities me. Nobody. Nobody. Good luck with that. Ha. Huh. All right, narrator. You've been talking to me. Ah, there you are, my friend. Thank you for the rescue. Now, I can get back to my job of narrating. <clears throat> the narrator said, narratively. Who are you? I mean, weird. Yeah, it's uh, you. There you are. Okay, that was quick. Whoa, 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 wait. You can hear me? This is unprecedented. Ooh, but that doesn't mean it's bad. Wait, what, how would you think I, I followed you here? Took the words right out of my mouth, little one. It was hard being alone. I felt like half a person, if that makes sense. Don't be that rude, even. <laughs> it would be strange if you didn't. I am your narrator, after all. Oh, but it is nice to know when one's work is appreciated. But you can hear me now. And we should make the most of that while we can. One never knows how long it will be until the old authorities reassert themselves. Okay. We've got a quest to finish, my friend. And I stand ready to describe it if you stand ready to live it. <laughs> Let's. Now then, where were we? <clears throat> ah, yes. A girl, her dice, and her narrator were reunited at last. Mm -hmm. Behind them, the wreckage of all that had stood in their way. Ahead of them, the queen and her minions. Even squared her shoulders and strode forward toward her destiny. <laughs> Oh, why thank you. 